astronaut. He was a jet pilot. He was able to do all kinds of tricks with his plane like this. One day, Uncle Sam said, Daddy, the country needs you. We will make you an astronaut. So they sent Daddy to a space school for lessons. The first thing that they did, they put Daddy in a big machine to see if he had all the bones he was uh, supposed to have. And he did. So they gave, they gave him a good mark for bones. Then some other doctors stuck lots of wires on Daddy's bare skin. These wires ca were connected to a big pinball machine. Then when they hit Daddy's knee, they made the ball run around like crazy. All the lights went in and out. Daddy got a big score, but nobody gave him a prize. After that, they put my Daddy in a big box on the end of a big stick. They pressed some buttons and the box went around very fast. Then when the box stopped, Daddy found fine, but not the doctors. Then Daddy had to sit on a chair. It went up and down real fast like a pogo stick. They wanted to see if Daddy would shake the pieces. When the chair stopped, Daddy was fine. The chair wasn't so good, either the doctors. So, they put a new suit on Daddy with a big helmet. Daddy was ready to blast off. He went up in a big rocket. It flew so high you could hardly see it with your bare eyes. Then he steered the rocket to the moon and got out. Daddy stuffed the stars and stripes on this mountain. This shows everybody who came here that we own the moon. Then he went back to the rocket and stepped on the gas. Pretty soon, the rocket floated down on a big battleship. Right away, Daddy was a big hero, and they even had a big parade. Everybody threw pieces of paper on Daddy, which I thought was funny. I have to throw my pieces of paper in the waste paper basket. The president invited Daddy to the White House for a sleepover and gave Daddy a big medal and everybody screamed and hollered. Daddy was real poop when he got home. He slept for two days. Next day, Daddy took me to the carnival for all afternoon. Then, the first thing that we did, we got ice cream cones with six scoops. Then we went on the roller coaster. It was real scary, but I wasn't afraid because my Daddy's a big hero. That ride made me feel real great. So we had two giant hot dogs apiece and a bottle of pop. This was so that we wouldn't get hungry on the Big Dipper. Big Dipper sure was funny. The seats didn't go any place, but the whole world turned round and round. When we got off, Daddy walked Bunny all the way to the Black Spider. This was a real keen ride. It was only hard to eat our spun sugar because we were upside down so much. After that, maybe Daddy had a toothache or something because he ran away in a hurry. So I ate a chocolate bar. Daddy came back and we had one last snack. We had two cheeseburgers and two lemon malted milks which is a new kind I made up. Then we went on the carousel. I got on this, gr this pink ostrich, and Daddy got on this green horse. It was keen, but the people that were going around made me a little dizzy. 
Daddy's horse went up and down like a racing pony. Daddy loved it because pretty soon he was hugging it real tight. Then the green from the horse went up into Daddy's face. When Daddy fell off, a lot of people yelled and ran over. Then the ambulance came just like the movies. Then they put Daddy inside and we had a nice ride all the way to the hospital. So now if anyone asks what happened to Daddy the astronaut, Mommy said to don't tell them that he fell out of a carousel and broke his two legs. Grown-ups sure are funny. As my teacher says, if at, first, if at first you do succeed, don't try again. <laughs>